Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about BNB. BNB reacted to the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement at $257. With that, it um, reacted to the typically perfect target for a fourth wave, which is often called the 38.2 retracement level, got rejected and came down quite strongly. However, it's coming down only in three waves so far. So it's a little bit in no man's land. It moved up in three waves, moved down in three waves. I cannot rule out because of that. I cannot rule out that the triangle is happening here of some sort. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a strange um, structure. At the moment, the idea is that as long as we only have three waves up, that we can um, get another low. If it makes another low, it wouldn't really be good for the long term outlook here. Um, support in case we make one more low is the $208 level. I mean, it came down to touch 230. You know that 230 was one of our support levels. It's the 78.6 retracement. Um, but if it makes another low, it should hit $208. Below 208, we are really at risk of invalidating the larger bullish scenario because it will then most likely test and break below the June 22 low around $184. But as long as it's holding 230, it we, we still have good chances to rally in the third wave in the bullish scenario. One more low, I would still give it a chance if it recovers quickly, but below 208, I think we are looking at the bearish scenario that we also discussed in previous videos here in the red wave count, which could send it lower to the $140 region. But at the moment, it's all about, okay, you know, can we turn around here? So far, it's not doing that. In fact, it, um, it broke out to the downside of this uh, ascending wedge. That's what you normally expect. An ascending wedge typically breaks to the downside, which it did. And because it broke to the downside, because it followed to the upside only in three waves and got rejected and left our resistance area to the downside, at the moment, I have to expect another low. However, I cannot rule out that it's doing some kind of a weird diagonal here, but it is any it is something that's not reliable. It's, you know, if this is now going higher and if this is going to break above the last high at 257, I would have to count this as a wave one, then an, um, a two, a three, a four and a five. Yeah, very strange count. To form, as to form a wave one here, and then this would be an ABC pullback in a wave two. Um, this is, of course, a possible setup for the long side because this move up could be a wave one, this move down now a wave two, and then take off higher. But it would need to confirm that by breaking above $257, and it is nothing where I would say this is a solid trade setup. I mean. Don't get me wrong, we're very close to the June low. There's amazing reward to risk from here. Um, and we have a possible leading diagonal to the upside, but it's a completely unreliable one, not one that I would emphasize here because it can be just a clear three-wave structure. It's nothing that would give me clarity. So I'd rather not give you any kind of support area here. I just mention it. Of course, this you know if it's turning around to the upside, it should do it from here. I would say any any break below um, the Saturday low, which was here at 231, will most likely lead to one more low in the yellow wave count. But yeah, I mean, if it turns around, it should really turn around from here. But it's nothing reliable. This is a very, very forced leading diagonal count. I just want to emphasize the possibility, but it's not probable to me. It's at least not clear. So I expect another low, but I do expect the count to change and to morph because it's a three wave move up, a three wave move down. We need to be on, a, on our toes here. Um, on the lower time frame, this is really rather unclear at the moment. And it's a bit of a wait and see. Now, looking at the bigger picture, I think we have a bit more clarity because we still have a wave one to the upside and wave two to the downside. However, a sustained break below the um, 12th of June low will also put bearishness onto this chart yeah we'll, ma we'll make this chart rather bearish or at least uncertain um, because this is really just now fighting with a possible turnaround but I have no clear 
reversal signal to the upside yet. But yeah, be aware, you know, if it's turning around that it should do it from here. Um, it's just not a clear setup. You know, it's obviously it rallied. It's not pulling back, you know, and it's coming down quite deep. And if we measure the Fibonacci retracements, just to give you an idea where we're sitting, this has come back to the golden ratio now and even briefly below it. So again, if it's turning around, it should turn around here. Otherwise, it will most likely take it to $208. Yeah, unfortunately, the altcoins are suffering a bit. Not very clear. I think um, Bitcoin Ethereum gives the clearest, the clearest um, pictures at the moment. And this one even broke to the downside of an ascending wedge. So there's nothing bullish I can see here at the moment in the short term, but it still has a chance to rally in a third wave, looking at the bigger picture here at the moment. But it needs to confirm a turnaround on the micro level, and I cannot confirm it at this stage, but I'm, of course, observing it. Okay, that's my update about BNB. I hope you will like the update. If you did, please hit the like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.